so they can feel how to move to tighten. And then say, you do it by yourself. Hold, pull the shoulder toward this to make it tighter. And you can even make your neck a little shorter, pulling in. Okay. And pulsing. Take, take a rest. Yeah, that's good. You can pulse it on and off, learn where it is, and let go. The next action is to tighten and hold. Oh, no. Okay. okay. And bend the right elbow all the way. Make a fist, pull into here. The elbow is against the side. This is protecting you from the vampire. And let go. This is just rehearsal. Okay. Next action, reach that left leg long. Cause the right hip to pull toward here. That's your shoulder, elbow, fist. It's good to turn like this, like that, so you can pull everything into here. Here's the full-fledged lookout for the vampire. Big breath in, up into here. Hold the breath. Go soft inside your chest. Hold the breath. Go soft inside your chest. That's it. And you can pulse now. Take a little more breath. And tighten here. As you exhale, the arm unfolds. And I pulse like a heartbeat. I pulse like a heartbeat. Not you. I pulse like a heartbeat. <laughs> Take a big breath and let go. <coughs> let that shoulder move. Which I'm gonna move. Let the shoulder move. That's it. Okay, another big breath or two. That's it. There you go. And the person can be brought to a curve. This is kinetic mirroring. Another big breath. And let go. There we go. Okay, now I leave the person here. The primitive lock-in is you straighten yourself. That activates the opposing muscles. And take breaths. Feel what this side feels like, what this side feels like. Yeah. Right. Okay. The anterior scalenes, you get access to them by bringing the elbow over the front of the ribs until the collarbone comes toward the jawline roughly and you'll feel specifically the anterior scalenes contract. You do that for the result of the interior spleens contracting, not in some rote fashion where you just move to a position. Do it so that you feel this area contract.